Yeah, yeah. dude. Fearless I was watching that camper. shit. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna. What am I gonna do? Keep shooting at you with the riot shield? Let let you take care of him, bro. <laughs> You yeah, outplayed all of them. You really didn't deserve yeah, that win. Yeah. yeah, he deserved it. Deserve he he out IQ'd sure. you. Not really, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, people? It's your belief, and today we are today. What's up, people? It's your belief, and today we are doing some more spectating solos. Adam, I'm having a whole bunch of fun with this series, so I hope you guys are too. If you guys are, it helps me out a whole bunch if you hit that like button and comment down below so I know that you guys want to see more of this content. Um, this is a pretty decent circle. Oh, I did not kill myself. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is a decent circle. Maybe we're going to get some uh, kind of high kill games, which would be cool. Um, yeah, last, last uh, spectating randoms, we saw two guys playing solos start teaming. And then we also got a hacker at the end that won the match. Not surprising, of course. Not surprising. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm having a whole bunch of fun doing it. Hope you guys learned something from it. If you guys do, like I said, it helps me out a whole bunch. And it and it helps me know you guys want to see more. If you guys comment down below and smash that like button. Uh, let me go ahead and try to kill myself right here. All right, all right, all right. Who who are we spectating? Who are we spectating? Let's go ahead and check it out. All right. So, El Barto. Watching this bad boy. Got a nice M16 off the rib. I love this gun. I love this gun more than the AUG. Uh, at least the ground loot. And I kind of do like the M16 more. Um, as a custom gun, too. But... That ground loot M16 is gorgeous. I love it. It's it's so good. And it doesn't even like wobble as much as the hog. Cool, so he used to switch his shotgun for the FFAR. Oh no! He had the GOAT setup right there. He had the freaking GOAT setup. So the reason why you want to run the FFAR with M16 is the M16, or I'm sorry, the the FFAR is essentially a submachine gun. Fa second fastest time to kill in the game. Why did you switch a deployable for Daddy? Is there someone here that I don't know? There's there's no one here, bro. Unless someone flew earlier. I think I saw someone parachute in front of him. But that's in front of you. Yeah, like that way. There he is. Beam him. All right, okay shots, not much uh, recoil control, but not bad. SMG. What was I saying? Yeah, the FFAR is the gun he should definitely keep. And then he should have beamed that guy with the M16. And that would have been the GOAT ground loose setup right now. So he has 4400 cash. And he's not that far out of circle, but there's not much for him to do. He has only one kill. 106 people left. I really like these circles. If you guys didn't see my other videos, uh, these circles are really nice because the lobby survives a little bit longer than normal compared to the ones that are like two thirds out or some crap. Oh, okay. There's people fighting at the main quarry building over here. Or not main, the little side quarry building. Uh, so, what is he going to do? If I was him, I would definitely push it because there's nothing else to do. He still has 20 seconds before the circle closes. And I think he still has the M16 as a secondary. I hope he does at least because if he doesn't, that's a big L. All right. So it seems like those guys are done fighting over there. He's just going to rotate out, try to beat him forward. I mean... This is, I guess, the far side. So this side closes a little bit faster. Yeah, look how fast that thing's closing. But he could definitely hold right here. If he posts, if you know there's people over here and you want to try to get some kills, easily post up right here somewhere or even behind that wall and try to hold people. He's only 4,000 off for a loady, but the, se the second load is the first load is going to come in soon. Nice, he got some stopping power there. I'd recommend not to use the stopping power, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna use it. Oh, he dropped his M16, so now he has a shotgun and M16. 
Why would he do that? All right, guys, don't do that. All right. Like I said, that this is pre-nerf. I'm pretty sure there's a nerf coming this week for the AUG, at least the AUG. Maybe the FFAR, maybe the M16. But don't drop the M16. If you have stopping power on the M16 or AUG, there's literally no recoil on that guy. So he has a pretty shitty uh, uh, loadout right now for his guns. There's no bias over here. He should have saved that stopping power for when he gets his loadout right here. Because he's either going to buy one or he's either going to get that free loading. And he's very close. Oh, wow. He didn't have any plays. I didn't realize that. He needs to switch his gun because I think he has a shotgun, right? Yeah, he has a shotgun and a Renetti. That's not going to help. People are fighting neighborhood, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. People are fighting neighborhood and people are fighting at Big Blue over here. He can try to find some cash here and buy at Stadium. But don't forget, there's still the guys rotating from this way or this way over here. So they're most likely going to Stadium, too, just to uh, get some cash. This is, a this is a horrible play right here. You know there's people fighting here. He has no loadouts. Bro, that gun is not going to shoot that far, okay? That gun's not going to shoot that far. He should have went into Stadium, tried to find $600. All he needs is $600, and he get a loadout. And then he could push these guys. Nice. That's a nice little jump spot, but very pointless because you have a Renetti and a shotgun. He should be playing very aggressive with a Deddy right now. He should be pushing up close right in front of the face because if he just get caught in the open right here, he can't do anything about it. He needs to pop the Deddy and push. They're most likely in that yellow house because there's that broken window up top. In this house. Yeah, yeah. They might be in that next one too. I forgot where that red dot was. Uh, he's he's slow peeking all the corners. You could kind of do this, but you're not gonna get away with it in a very sweaty lobby. Was that him on bottom floor? See, like, there's no point for him to have a shotgun out like that because it's not going to reach. You're going to have to switch your gun e either way. He's going to spray paint. Yeah. Oh, my God. What? The IQ, yo. The IQ. Did you guys notice they changed? Oh, what are you doing? Are they below him? I, I don't think those are footsteps below him. I think those are explosions. Pretty sure the guy rotated out to Big Blue already. Okay. All right, guys. So he has $9,400, right? Like I said, if he went to Stadium, if he went to Stadium, found just $600. There has to be $600 on this lower portion. He would have been able to buy Lodi. Drop it out here and then push over here with, with like full confidence compared to running around with a shotgun. Now this guy's Lodi is most likely uh, like magnetized or whatever over here too. Yep. So he's gonna push this. He's gonna try to drop a cluster. I I feel like, but he's gonna get, end up getting beam. Someone's are they fighting each other? Uh, I'm assuming the guy in the truck has his loadout. Oh, there's two guys. There's two guys out there with trucks. Usually people in cars are the sweaty ones. And I noticed in solos, cars are very important. I think I think everyone's starting to realize the power of cars. This guy's playing it super slow. Like I said, see, he was going to cluster. There's no point of doing that now. Target is marked. Go for strike. He's just going to drive forward. He, he got him away from his loadie. I feel like this guy's a controller player. What is his loadout? Hog, oh, FAR. Oh, car. Car and Diamantes. What is going on? And he's going restock? Okay. All right. So if you guys are trying to improve, I definitely recommend running, you know, restock. 
but you got to play very aggressive. How this guy's been playing this whole time, he's not playing very aggressive. So you could tell he's not trying, or I, I, I feel like he's not trying to improve. Because if you're trying to improve in the game, you just got to push everyone in, like, even if you have your loadie or not. The reason why is because you want to warm up your shots. Alright, there's someone right here. He's going for his loadie. He's on your left, bro. Or on your right. Easy shot. There's a guy on your right, too. There's another guy on your right. Oh, stun. 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 Please, you have restock. This is why you run restock. He's on your left, most likely. He choked his shots. Right over there, right there. Okay. This is why I don't like the verbal zoom. I know some people, it's it's their stuff, you know? But when you have a variable zoom, you have to adjust to the zoom level because the bullet velocity might change depending on how, I guess. I guess the bullet velocity doesn't change, but you got to know the bullet velocity based on the zoom and whatever you're using. That's why I like just having the regular scope because you don't have to like zoom in and out and then guess how far that person is. But he's running restock, and if he wants to play to improve, he should have pushed push super hard in the beginning already like when those guys were fighting a neighborhood he should have been in that fight trying to get his uh like gunplay warmed up because he hasn't shot anyone besides the dude at what farmland or lumber and his shot is not warm that's why you saw him miss that snipe that easy snipe on that guy's head whoa he's running uh that little hacker thing whoa iq bro no not really as that's hideous, bro. Different play style compared to me. He should have bought a UAV too. He has a lot of cash. Oh, and he's popping his daddy. He's making a play. I'm like 80% sure no one's here. You would have died already. If someone was waiting there. There's no one here. But yeah, if you want to improve, definitely run restock because you get the stuns. And you're not running heartbeat anymore because stuns get you out of very sticky situations and learning how to bounce them and use them to your advantage when you you misplay because that's the biggest thing about stuns right you're able to correct your misplays essentially and you get you get you know one step above the, the other person so if you're running restock it's a good way to improve but how this guy's playing with restock it's pointless because he should be pushing everyone because he has that advantage. He's already on radar, so if anyone has a heartbeat, they know where he is. So by him playing this slow and sticking to one area for more than 10 seconds or even like 15 seconds, he's he's putting at he's putting himself at a very big disadvantage. So that's just my tip to you guys. If you guys want to improve, I definitely recommend running either restock or high alert. Just take the L and be on the map, but if they push you, you're going to have the advantage of having stuns or having high alert to know where they're going to be looking at you from. Uh, high alert is a very underrated uh, perk in this game, too. I haven't run it that often, but I could just see how good it is. My boy uh, Chubby Gamer, he's a Facebook uh, streamer. He runs it every once in a while, and he gets some uh, pretty good games with it, I'll say. But he's paranoid as hell. That's for sure. Sometimes he thinks there's a, a yellow yellow look at him, but it's actually no one. Okay, so he has $9,400, right? This guy was right next to a buy. He hasn't bought a UAV. There's already, what, 31 people left in this game. He's playing it super slow. I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets top 20. Was that somebody? No, my eyes are tripping. I wouldn't be surprised if he got top 20, just how slow he's playing. Let's check the circle real quick, because I don't think I've done that in a sec. Did my mouse die? My mouse died. Okay. Okay, so the circle's ending over here. It's... Okay, maybe he's not going to make a top 20. So, over here was really wide. Over here is very congested. So, I have a good feeling he's going to run into somebody, and his gunplay is going to be a little bit off. Um... The important thing about playing if you're trying to play to improve push everyone just accept you're not gonna get a, a w that day because what you're doing is you're playing to improve and you're trying to get better so you gotta push everyone and if you die in the beginning it's whatever right um and what's really important about pushing everyone is it helps keep 
your gunshots very nice and warm all right because this guy like i said hasn't shot anybody since the dude who was running out in the open who didn't even know was looking at him and he missed two shots all right that was he shot maybe don't get to two gunfights shot maybe a total of 25 bullets 27 including the two he missed on that last guy he used 25 on the dude at farmland and my biggest gripe about this dude he has 9400 hundred dollars and he has not used it yet he should be at least buying a self res and at least buying a uav okay there's a truck over here in your super driving down that road He's not slide canceling. Slide canceling is very important, as you guys all know. It helps you move around the map a lot faster and makes you a harder target to hit if someone's like lining you up for a shot. This is a bad position. He should just climb all the way up right away. And it looks like he's running a, excuse me. It looks like he's running a wrap on his pistol too. I don't know if you guys know, but all the wraps on the cold war weapons do not help your gun in any way they might help your ads but only in like one frame or something so you can't even tell the difference when you have it on or off supposedly uh i think it's espresso he said that running speed grip actually slightly helps with your um your repo control but i haven't i haven't tried it myself so I, I I can't tell you guys if I feel any difference running with it or not. Twenty three people left, so he's going to get to twenty, the final twenty people. This guy's gonna die fast. This is pointless, pointless to shoot this because he's not gonna get a headshot. He's only blowing his position. There's no point of doing that right there. People fighting right behind him. Easy shots right here. Three dudes. Three dudes. He's a third party. That guy punched the air for some reason. You guys, there's Raisha guy right there. Easy shot. Oh, easy shot, dude. He hesitated. He hesitated. Okay, so he hit that shot at least. He hit what? He missed other two, and he just hit another two. So he's 50 50 right now for shots. That guy has a riot shield. He can hold him, but you should watch did he run through i don't think he ran through i didn't see him right there right there right there shoot him oh he's fucking up your shot buddy Ooh, that's rough he must be uh, a little frustrated there okay he's top 20 he's made it boys he's made it to top 20 so he's at super he has to run all the way over here this is pointless. Oh, it's not pointless. What are you? Oh, he airstriked him. Oh my God, dude, if this guy wins, I'm going to shit my pants. Okay, maybe not, but I'll be very surprised. I can't believe he hit that shot. So he should just dip. Get in the car. Right there, right there, right there. Easy shot. All you again, baby. V shot, V shot. He's too baggy. Bro, you have, okay. He's running restock. He has stuns and two Semtex. Things to beat people with right shields, right? We know he doesn't have Cali sticks, so we don't have to worry about being too close to him and him switching the Kali sticks and just lunging at you, killing you. What he should have done there was push, throw some stuns, right? Maybe even before he took that first shot, if he positioned himself a little bit better, he could have stunned early, get him stunned, try to hit him with a sniper shot or something, and then throw two Simtex at him when he's stunned. All you have to do is just throw one stun behind the guy or behind the right shield. This is rough. This is just a little rough to, to watch. I'm not going to lie. So him standing on top of this thing is just telling the whole world and Verdansk to shoot him.
Are you gonna fall, kid? <laughs> I fucking called it. He's gonna pick up this bounty. He should. Okay, when his game's like this, you should definitely pick bounties, right? And I'm pretty sure you're gonna wonder why you should be picking up bounties, even if you don't want to do them. Is it helps show you where people are on the map. So if you grab a bounty, it might lock onto someone over here on this side, maybe even right next to you or across the map, like out in this, out in these hills. It might show them out in those hills. Oh, you're still with this guy, dude. Gas is coming. Oh, oh, you got no gas mask. But yeah, it'll, it'll show someone on the map for you. You're dead. Someone's there. Just armor up. Just armor up, please. Fine. Do me a favor. Just armor up. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna title this How do people play like this? He needs to armor up. I hope you guys are learning from him. <gasps> he sees your light. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. He sees your freaking laser, dude. Thank god. Please tell me you have a decent. Yeah, he's running the AUG with a shotgun. And he only has one I kill. Who am I back. watching? Who am I watching? Why am I not watching these sweats? But it's okay. It's okay, because even though it's not entertaining for me, you know, some of you guys might play like this. And it's okay to play like this. You know, it's just not how I would play. So it's good we're watching people who aren't sweating all the time. And I can nitpick and choose what they should have done to be better. And hopefully you guys learned something from it too. Um, but that guy's laser was there. And I hope you guys learned a whole bunch about him because I'm tired of talking to that guy. Uh, but now we're watching Trump supporting me. So, this is I wonder where he got deported to. But so he's running the AUG with a spaz. The spaz is a great close range uh, weapon. It beats the FFAR up close, but about medium range, it might be a little bit chalked. Put it on the M16. Perfect. Or the AUG. Perfect. This is what I was talking about. Putting it on the AUG was a great idea. It, like I say, it has no recoil. Um, there's nine people left, eight people left, including him. There, there has to be people camping up here. Like, there's three cars. But I'm pretty sure there might be one or two people. Like, maybe one per These two guys fought or died. Oh, you did not control your shots, buddy. You're going to get sniped right now. Please don't go for the Lodi. Someone's running M6 or uh, MP5 and RPG for the Lodi. That's most likely their ghost. Right in front of you. Right in front of you. Shoot the other guy. Shoot, the, yeah, yeah, shoot that guy. There you go. Don't make me. And then, and then thirst that guy after he selfs. Thirst him. He's right in front of you. He's, he's. Bro, don't tell me. Did the other guy die already? Yeah, yeah, guy. Come on. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. He's right in front of you. Yeah, he's in the tent. That's a late. That's a very late nade. No, you gotta go up high. You gotta go. We gotta get some cover. He's not getting any cover. Play it up. Breathe. Breathe. You got this. He's gonna have to move. No, no. Get fire so you don't wanna put airstrikes like that because it's gonna show you on the map for everyone else. Every time you use precision, it's gonna show. Okay, it's worth it. It worked. But using a precision like that is really risky because now everyone knows where he is on the map. Um, the only time you don't show up on the map is when you use a cluster strike. But cluster strikes are trash too. I don't know what this guy is doing. He needs to rotate quick. He has no cover besides that truck or the car. And he gets stunned on the right hand side or behind. Yeah, exactly. Because there was there was literally two people fighting if you hear the gunfight. Oh, it's the riot shield dude! It's the freaking riot shield dude! Oh my god. And he's choking on dick. He's choking on the gas, boys. Okay, he has four kills. He's running riot shield. Big stick prince. That's some big stick prince right there. He's being held by some dude on top of this hill. He has cover. This is a this is not a bad loadout for his situation right now because he has no cover and he has a riot shield. So all he needs to do. 
dude, they know you're there. You have to rotate. He's looking at you most likely. I'd be surprised if he wasn't. Uh, right there, right there. Oh, there's, oh, there's two. There's one on the hill, and there's a guy right in front of him. No. Oh my god. Okay, the other guy's on top of the hill. I think game's over. We're not gonna see the final kill. All right. We're not gonna see the final kill, but that is the end to this war zone. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Smash that like button if you guys did. Comment down below if any of my tips watching those two guys. If any of them, if any of my tips watching that first guy particularly helped you, please let me know in the comments that it did. I, you know, we all had to suffer and watch that. And I'm, you know, if you guys do play like that, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But it's just not my type of, uh, you know, play style. People died before me. Wow. Hey, GG, bro. But you're really garbage, bro. You waited till the last second to get to that fight. Yeah, I totally bro, agree with you. You camped your way for that. You camped your way for that fucking win. I I agree. Yeah, I was I was letting you uh, kill that rice shielder for me. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Like I was pussy, watching pussy that camper. shit. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna. What am I gonna do? Keep shooting at you with the rice shield? Let let you take care of him, bro. <laughs> You yeah, that was a outplayed move. all of them. You really didn't deserve yeah, that way. Yeah. yeah, he deserved he it. Deserve he he out IQ'd sure. you. Not really, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That one was hilarious. Let me know in the comments if that helped you guys. Uh, I'll make more of these videos if you guys let me know by smashing that like button and commenting down below. Subscribe if you guys do want to see more of these videos. I'll try to make it more for you guys when I have time. Uh, ooh, I'm queuing up right now. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I make Warzone content, uh, Warzone loadouts, spectating videos. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in Warzone. Peace.